Okay, and get my toothbrush away. We've seen everything from toothbrushes to tortillas and zero gravity. But gravity turns to levity when it's a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model floating by. That's Kate Upton, up, up, and thankfully not upchucking away. Kate and the Sports Illustrated crew boarded G-Force One in Florida for their top secret photo shoot. The plane climbs steeply, then dives. At the top of the hump, passengers experience weightlessness for about 30 seconds. <laughs> and pay 5,000 bucks to fly up and down about 15 times. But now it was Kate Upton's turn. Zero G or bust. Twirling, I was upside down, it was one of my favorite experiences so far in my life. Zero gravity flights have a reputation for being so-called vomit comets, but the company Zero G says only 4% of their passengers actually get sick and Kate Upton wasn't one of them. Kate was a dream up there. Company president Therese Brewster notes the fuselage is padded so when gravity returns, you don't get hurt. In her teeny-weeny $35 bikinis from Target, Kate was wearing less than Sandra Bullock did in Gravity. Kate's Sports Illustrated shoot seemed to be channeling the famous opening credits scene from Barbarella. Not only did Jane Fonda do a spacey strip tease, but the credits maintained Fonda's modesty. Last year, Jimmy Fallon was interviewing Kate about her last swimsuit edition shoot in Antarctica when he mused about a final frontier for her next shoot. <gasps> Space. Next year. Think about this. Next year. I Think see about it. this. There's oh, no wow. gravity. It's incredible. We know what Jimmy and the audience were imagining. How does the lack of gravity affect the positioning of your bosom? I mean, do things float? Well, no, I think they just don't, they don't move, really. America's first female astronaut, Sally Ride, was once asked if you need to wear a bra in space. Her reply, there is no sag in zero G. And guys, don't bother hoping the bikini will just... Lift off. Ginimo, CNN, New York.